Show your support. Follow me on Twitter. Hello, I am that British guy and a Merry Christmas to you. Now you may or may not be aware of the fact that I have a PlayStation Plus subscription and obviously with that comes the free monthly games. And I review the PlayStation 4 games that come out each month and have been downloading them myself since the PlayStation 4 came out. And I just wanted to take this opportunity to kind of voice my five favourite games that I have found via PlayStation Plus with you. Now before we begin I just want to point out these are games that I only have acquired via the free games on the PlayStation Plus subscription. There are obviously some games that came out free after I had purchased them myself and other people then possibly downloaded them for free then. But I'm not including them because I'd already gone out and spent my own money on those games. Number 5. Infamous First Light. This is a prequel story to Second Son focusing in on Abigail, one of the supporting characters, and takes place in two areas. Initially, you have been detained by the DUP as a conduit, and you are being instructed to show your abilities. This acts as a training facility, so you can unlock new skills. As you do, the game takes you back to Seattle before your capture, as you recount the events leading to your arrest. Each time you return here, you have a bigger skill set due to your demonstrations. The game continues in this parallel linear fashion until Abigail completes her story and simultaneously breaks out of prison and heads off into the sunset with some other captives. This ending briefly introduces the character of Second Son. This is only $3.99, but remember this is not a full game, only a taster but it did its job and enticed me towards Second Son. The parallel locations drip feed the story and gameplay in a controlled way that still makes sense in the grand scheme of the game. Number 4. Contrast This may be getting a mention for nostalgic reasons, as this was my first ever PlayStation Plus free game, but looking back it was a damn fine game too. This is a puzzle platform game where you play as a little girl's imaginary friend, the girl sneaks off in the night and you have to guide her to find out secrets about her parents and hopefully get them back together as a family. You are able to exist as a 3D model in the real world but can instantly switch to 2D in the shadow world to access collectibles and areas that are usually inaccessible. By moving or manipulating light sources you alter the shadows opening up more opportunity in the 2D space. There are only three chapters to this game, but at only $7.99 it is still worth getting your hands on. It is also available on the previous generation consoles too, so it opens this game up for many more players to enjoy. Number 3, Tropico. So this is SimCity meets Spore in the Caribbean. Tasked with building a town on a tropical island, you must pay attention to the people's political views as well as your funds. To add to this, as the years progress you will enter various historical eras, giving you new technologies to exploit, but also new goals and responsibilities too. Keeping these things balanced becomes harder and harder. If you don't want to play the regular way, there are plenty of scenario based levels where the win conditions are very specific, giving the game a renewed feel. The standard game is $24.99, with the complete bundle $44.99. And believe me, there are plenty of extra purchasable things on top of the standard game to make the extra £20 value for money if this is your kind of thing. But you can just grab the standard game, try it, and bolt on the extras in one purchase later if you enjoy the experience enough. Number 2. Until Dawn. Set in a cabin up a mountain, this game follows a group of friends and some haunting goings on. One year prior, a horrible accident claimed the lives of two sisters. Now their brother has reunited the friends to toast their memory and reminisce, but they're not alone. Something is lurking in the shadows. The game splits the friends up and you jump from each group with only one goal, survive until dawn. I enjoyed a weekend playing through this game, totally engaged in the story and the characters. Upon completion, the intention was to change certain choices and actions to see how that would impact on the story, and this only adds to the overall experience. 
As the game is now only $15.99, I would highly recommend getting this game. If I, someone who doesn't really enjoy horror, can find much to like about this game, I'm sure many others will too. And number one, This War of Mine, The Little Ones. So this is the game I've played the most and has never been deleted from my games list. You are thrown into a rundown house in the middle of a war-torn European city with only whatever you can find or build to support you. The game is split into two modes. During the night you can venture out to various places in town to either collect goods, trade with people or fight off attackers to secure better items. During the day you then use what you collect to fortify your home and make it as comfortable as possible. Lacking in food? Set some traps. Ill or injured? Craft meds or bandages, but beware, you can go on the hunt at night, but you may also be the hunted. Stockpiling too many good items may make you a target, and some of your people then may get attacked. At only $15.99, I would urge anyone with an interest in strategy or base building games to get this and enjoy hours of wartime survival. The PlayStation 4 version also comes with the Little Ones expansion, adding children into this scenario. Trust me, this makes the game difficult on a whole new level. So there we go, there are my five sort of favourite PlayStation Plus free games that I have found over the years. If you have found any others that maybe I have kind of missed or overlooked, please let me know in the comments below. Have a very Merry Christmas and I will see you very soon. Goodbye.